All right, trying DuckTales again. You know, I have played time for two minutes. A lot of problems. Of course, because you have the music and all that sort of stuff with your copyright and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to try it again. Just doing on medium this time hard, yeah. Didn't try this game just on normal design. Last time I tried it on hard. Then. Custody kilts. Me money been alarmed. Quick, Duckworth. Get the limo. I shall not. <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth. Hurry. The pedal is to the middle, Mr. McDonald. What they don't really like about this game is the story doesn't really interest me as much as it should. The only far thing I got is get finished this defeat the Amazon. That's the only thing I did in the game while playing on hard. You have to start over with the music, with the copyright, and all that sort of stuff. So I try my best to lower down the music a little lesser. Not worry about that. I worry about that this time. Of course, it's like the music from Disney, of course. Might as well just be just on a medium, makes it more faster playthrough and all that sort of stuff. This is the first time playing, I'm playing on hard, I'll play that, do that later. So on the playthrough, I'll just have it on normal. Make it an easy and short playthrough instead of having it on hard. I'm pretty sure on hard, I'll be able to die a couple of times since I've never played this before, so it's better to just try it on normal for now and just beat it. Get this game out of my way and be to play another game. This is already August 5th, of course. Like September, we got two games. Coming out like September, September, September 9th supposed to be Destiny and September, I think 16 or the 18th, I don't remember, supposed to be Naruto Should put in New Year's Story Revolution and that game is what I really want to get. I know Destiny is a good game. I enjoy the beta and all that stuff. Of course I would like to get that game, but the number one game I would rather get right now in September would be uh, Naruto Storm Revolution and all that. That's the biggest game I want right now on my list. I might get, I change my mind and get Destiny game and Naruto Revolution. I'm not very sure what I'm gonna do. Or maybe get a PS4. I'm not very sure what I want to get. And on December I'm definitely gonna get Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix. That's the game that I'm really gonna get. In November I might get that Call of Duty maybe. I'm not sure how I'm... It comes out November 4th which would be interesting. I get that also. Never, I'm not sure. Maybe because of the store I want to play. Of course, I always like the store from some Mario multiplayer. I'm not really too big into the multiplayer like I used to be. Modern Warfare 2 days or mostly into the multiplayer at the time. I loved playing it at the time, like the Black Ops multiplayer. I didn't really play that much of that. Or Black Ops 2 or the Ghost multiplayer, not that much. Modern Warfare 3, I played a little bit of it. No, this is most of the Call of Duty I enjoy, then they got Advanced Warfare coming out. Maybe I wanna check that out, see how that is. I'm not sure if I even like the multiplayer anymore. But they have Survivor. I wanna might have Survivor like they have on Marvel for 3 they have Survivor on there. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. 
Not a chance. Those are the four those are the four games that I mostly I wanna get. This is Destiny now to Revolution Storm. Archipel Revolution Storm and uh Kingdom Hearts 2.5 and Call of Duty. I remember how to do this. How do I hit again? Oh yeah, I gotta do that, alright. Yeah, well, I don't like this game. I don't want to have this game off my list. I have another game. Another game. Beats in and all that sort of stuff. Oh, I'm just trying to do with my challenges. Beat all the games. I got that I haven't played yet and just beat them off the list. I got Hotline Miami done, beating that off the list too. And Stealth and Corp Stealth Inc. Clone. The Clone in the Dark. Got that one beating out the way also. I beat the main story of Last of Us Grounded Difficulty. Main story, The Left Behind, I've been playing that, I haven't beat that yet. I haven't finished that one off in ground difficulty yet. Still working on that. I have right here. Working on it, trying to have this BN2, DuckTales Remastered, to get this one out of the way too. I'm not sure what another game I'm going to be playing too, at the same time, so. Let's see how that goes. I got a lot of games on my li on the list to beat that I have. I still haven't beaten yet. What is that? Oh. That reminds me of something from Mario. That star you get. Dun 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 This stage, I already got this out the way, also. Oh crap, do early. The only thing that was not interesting about this game is the story. I never cared about it at all. For some odd reason. I don't know, the story just seems boring to me. Remember the beginning is very easy, of course. I did this part already before. I don't know something this game is about patience also. I have other games to beat. I also think like in October doing some type of scary games in October to be doing and all that sort of stuff. Be interesting. See how I'll do that sort of stuff. I don't know October would be like Halloween. Scary games kind of month, I guess. Like the games I still haven't. I beat Dead Space 3. I haven't even played Dead Space 1 or 2 yet. And I still have the games on discs. I would love to try to beat that during uh, October when they have, when they have scary games and all that. The Cinderman game haven't came out yet. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. <laughs> Not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Where, how do I beat him again? I never forget how to beat him. Okay, I gotta make sure I don't get hit by the globe. I forget how to beat him already. 
I forgot. Ugh, so dumb. Can we ever forget how to beat him? See what I mean? Oh my god. Unbelievable. And this man, that's weird. Oh, what the hell? I'm tripping, dude. See, he's a beat. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking here. Got lucky there. All you gotta do is just do that. Okay, never mind then. Doing horrible, man. I can't believe I got hit too. You don't have problems with nothing like that. I was interested in the main game also. The rival. I haven't came out for the Surely PS3 or 360 yet. They're probably gonna release that sometime in October, probably. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys. What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah. What is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Now they get these treasures that he's gonna be talking about in the different worlds and all that sort of stuff. He's going in different stages. And get a treasure. What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look, one of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one very ten miles underground. That way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. I beat the Amazon the last time, but never even tried none of these at all. So let's I'll see how the Amazon's gonna go. The story is sort of boring. I don't really don't like it for some odd reason. Get launch pad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle. This is not really that interesting to me. Just collecting treasures is cool, I guess. Just want to get this game beaten and out of the way. I like the Castle Illusion more better with Mickey Mouse. I like that. It was more enjoyable. The story was interesting too. I mean, it is an old game, just like DuckTales is an old game also, but I guess DuckTales is just not really my thing. I'm just gonna beat this and get this on my list. I'm games beaten, might as well. Thanks for the lift, launch bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. No, oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hi, hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an air here. Hey, I heard that. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds. And it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't launch, bud. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Marco Capquak himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl. And I'm not leaving till I find it. Alright, we know what to do right here. You gotta collect these six coins to be able to get to this level with no problem. Pretty simple. I got a map now. For some reason, like on hard difficulty, there wasn't a map. So that's interesting. Or was I don't remember. Then I got to collect eight coins. So that's interesting. Like in hard, there's not a map. I made the game a little bit more difficult because I was like, where the hell do I go? I would have beat this on normal and future play on hard than on the other difficulty, the extreme one. 
they have, which would be interesting to do. Pretty sure it will be hard. I was bouncing, but it didn't work for some odd reason. Okay. Got that first coin. Launchpad. I found an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. I kind of platforming games are kind of games that I like to play on normal first Then after I get the hint of all the stages up that's when you play it on hard so you get the hang of the stages instead of just playing on hard and just sucking the whole time what is that oh that one of those I don't know if you go over here. A lot of money, not that much coin. Too much health they're giving me for a normal playthrough. Another coin! And this one has an inscription of an eagle. And they give you way too much health for for normal. They should do that on easy to give you a bunch of health for normal. Should be Playing, not like give me so much freaking health. I also learned that you could like freaking bounce on the thorn. Remember at first I thought like you can bounce on thorns. Hey, there's a coin over here if I remember. I guess that. Aha! A coin bearing the image of the Queen's horse. Ha, it'll help us find the treasure for sure. How can you tell, boss? Never doubt the well honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McDee. Cars are going smooth. Also, learned it's not good to go this way because of thorns. It's good if you can just go the other way and come back around this way. Get up here and just go around and come back the other way around. It makes it more easier on yourself. Like I mean, that's a lot of health. Kind of rope all the way up with another chest in there. Not the coin out the way. I think that's four coins right there. Also, this gets annoying whenever he gets a coin and hear that talk to him, that dude. Yeah, it gets annoying and wastes some time. That coin, man. Can you go up? No, you can't. Here, that other coin thing will be the fifth one. Look at this. An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. This is Launchpad calling Mr. McDee. What is it, Launchpad? So what I mean, that's kind of crappy that they, I had to, they made me want to go on that spot when there's already a bee coming. That kind of sucks. 
course they give you a lot of health, so I don't have to worry about that. What is that health? Hey man. I got the that was a coin. Yeah. <laughs> Found another one, and it depicts the ruling might of a spear. And another talking. This is what I kinda hate about this part, just too much talking. I just need two more coins. I can't remember that one or something there, just checking, and there was. So it's better to come around this way instead of going through there. Get less damage, you don't have to worry about those thorns hurting you either. Looks like you mean over there where you, where you came out of from that side. Let's go all the way up now. Watch out for those. This last coin. Here we are for the coins right there you put it on. Next part, you know, they show the map right there since I'm not paying attention, so I already know where the whole area is at and all that sort of stuff. So for the next part, to the beginning, and but now we're on Amazon collecting all the eight coins to get to the temple. That's gonna happen next. So I'm putting those coins into that that uh thingy. Look at thingy right there. That should be to the to the temple and you fight the boss. That'll be the next part.